The Cutters will Spartans have taken to the road tonight to face the number one team in Clash 3A, the Newcastle Trojans. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the largest high school gymnasium in the world, the Newcastle Fieldhouse. I'm Dave Birch, and alongside me, as always, Ben Houston. Good evening, Dan. Good evening, everyone. Ben, as we saw last week, the Cutters will Spartans did a great, a great job. They came out against Bishop Chittard. They had an early lead, but they let it fall late. And as we saw the heroics at the last second, Cutters will escape to the one-point win. Uh, yeah, and that was uh, really just a, a great win for Cutters. Well, they really needed it. Uh, unfortunately for Connorsville, Ryan Henderson uh, was ejected, uh, not ejected, but uh, earned a technical early in the fourth quarter. He had to sit out the rest of the game because obviously Coach Klein didn't want him uh, not available for this game. Uh, definitely the biggest game to date here for the Spartans here tonight is this uh, number one Newcastle Trojan team. Yeah, they're going to be tough tonight. As we've seen, they've got a lot of Division One talent here. And Chase DeGaulle and Zach Hahn. And uh, as they're both going to Butler, they're joining Matt Howard here in a few years. And they're an excellent team, number one in Class 3A and number four across the whole state. Uh, yeah, and they're, they're doing a great job defensively and offensively both. We were, uh, were talking with some guys before the game just how uh, you can blink and all of a sudden they've gone on an 18-2 run. So definitely Connorsville uh, going to have to control the tempo here tonight. So uh, saying that they're going to have to control the tempo, what do you think of the three things that Connorsville's going to have well, to do Well, tonight? number one, Matt Howard is going to have to come out and have a lights-out game. I really think it's going to be important to run the offense through him and inside-out uh, atmosphere here tonight, uh, work him a lot in the high post and uh, let him uh, go off the dribble into the basket, uh, let him create some shots for himself. Number two, the perimeter shooting for Connorsville has to be there. Ryan Henderson has to be on uh, on tonight. Danny Fischer needs to look for his shots more. I think he's only taken like nine shots this season. Uh, as the point guard, he's going to have to step up sometimes because he needs to draw a defender down there or they'll just be able to double-team Matt Howard all night. So it's very important for both uh, Ryan Henderson and Danny Fischer uh, to uh, take shots tonight. And third, as we already stated, uh, Connorsville needs to control the tempo. Do not let uh, Newcastle come and dictate, uh, but play their kind of basketball. I think Connors will have a good chance of winning this game tonight. Yeah, we're going to have another 20 turnover uh, effort that we had last week against Bishop Jatard. It just uh, so happened it, it didn't bite us in the end. Uh, the turnovers is something that Connors is going to have to work on tonight. Yeah, and something we talked about last week and we bring up turnovers control the tempo of the game. It's like penalties in football. When you get a lot of turnovers, it gives the other team momentum and it allows them to control the tempo. So Connorsville needs to play a very technically sound game here tonight. So we're going to take a break here at the uh, Newcastle Fieldhouse as the teams are getting warmed up tonight. We'll be back in uh, just a few minutes with a tip-off and the rest of tonight's action. Back in the Newcastle Fieldhouse as we get set to tip off tonight's action. Ben, it's a little strange to see our Cuttersville Spartans in red, but that's something as we've gone on the road tonight. Uh, ben, if you would, give us the starting lineups. Uh, for the Newcastle Trojans, it'll be number three, Zach Hahn, number 22, Luke Bennett, number 30, Brian Hazelman, number 33, Chase DeGaul, and number 52, Bobby Carroll. For your Spartans, as always, in the middle, number 54, Matt Howard, number 10, Jordan Crow, number five, Brian Henderson, number 12, Danny Fish Escher, and number 42, Chris Malone. And the tip-off, not really controlled by anyone, deflected out of bounds, and that's going to be Newcastle basketball. Ben, as we've talked about, uh, the names uh, for Newcastle, Zach Hahn, Chase DeGaul, like, these boys can shoot. Uh, yeah, they're, they're great perimeter shooters. They can work off the dribble as well. Should cause a lot of problems for Connorsville here on defense. Zach Hahn with the ball for the first time. He's in the hand of Bobby Carroll. He's going to drive baseline wide open. He'll take a shot from the corner, and that's pure. <laughs> Connorsville's going to have to put a hand in his face because Zach will he'll make his pay all night long. Yeah, and uh, Connorsville, unfortunately, they have a lot of tough matchups. Not only Han, but Stigall and Bennett as well are, are, are lights out. So let's see how Connorsville adapts on defense. Early turnover from Connorsville is Ryan Henderson and expected Matt Howard to take a cut to the basket. However, he wasn't there, and that's an early turnover. Bobby Carroll gets up top to... That's Brian Hazelman and Zach Hahn is going to set up the offense for the Trojans. You know, Dave, during uh, the warm-ups, we were looking at uh, number 30, Brian Hazelman. He's lights out as well from behind the arc. He missed uh, one or two all warm-ups. So uh, it's uh, probably another perimeter shooter Connors is going to have to watch for. Chase the golf the shot is off the mark. Matt Howard, a different look that we've seen tonight. Uh, from what we've uh, heard, Matt Howard is a great crossover dribble. He's going to take it to the basket. They're going to count that basket. Good job by the big fella. What was we were talking about? Matt Howard's going to control the ball tonight. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, the prowess of the uh, Newcastle guards and Bobby Carroll not really expected to come out and defend Matt Howard. They're going to let him uh, create on the offense. Yeah, and that's a, a very different look, look for the Spartan team, something uh, that we caught wind of just before the game started. Uh, but obviously uh, no tape um, on the Spartans on that, so that could cause um, 
excuse me, Newcastle a lot of problems. Matt Howard with the three points of the game for Connorsville. They cling to a 3-2 lead, six minutes, 40 seconds into the game. Zach Hahn, once again, he'll take a three-pointer. That's off the front iron. Ryan Henderson with the rebound. Back in the hands of the big fellow. Matt Howard, I like this look so far. You know, it's worked one for one. They're going to make the uh, defender come out, and he's going to attack the basket once more, and he's good. Great looks from Connersville. And by a great travel crowd, we're going to have to add. Connersville, they're coming out support tonight. Yeah, and Bobby Carroll, uh, the uh, center for Newcastle, will not come and attack um, Matt Howard way back in the 10-second uh, the area, so that obviously eliminates any uh, full-court pressure against the Spartans. Matt Howard with five points of the game from Connersville. Zach on. It's going to be a, a long two-pointer. Almost a turnover. Matt Howard now with the ball. It looks, looks as though they might put a guard in the hands. Then he fish has your mug, and Newcastle's going to get the ball. It's going to be a turnover. It's going to be a call on the floor. Yeah. Is it going to be a bad court violation? Uh, that just called over and back on the uh, Trojans. I didn't see exactly what they were looking at. Uh, but Luke Bennett uh, caused some problems uh, for that uh, backcourt set of Matt Howard bringing the ball across as he uh, caused a turnover there. It looks as though in order to uh, combat Matt Howard, it looks as though they were going to bring out Luke Bennett, only a six-foot guard. However, uh, they've gone back into the normal half-court offense. Matt Howard works out of the free throw line, spins back left. The inside kicks it out to Danny Fisher. Jordan Crow back to Danny. Some different looks for the Connorsville Spartans tonight, and that's what they're going to have to have is they're going to try to upset the number one team in Class 3A. Yeah, and it's going to be a big task for them tonight. Let's see uh, as Jordan Crow has a wide-open shot, decides not to take it. Ryan Henderson works inside of the big fella. He's absolutely quadrupled to Jordan Crow wide open. Not much offense going. Things are going slow here. Danny Fishers are wide open. He's not going to take the shot either. As he talks about, Danny needs to be a little bit more... Uh, Really, pretty much uh, selfish with the ball, if you will. Ryan Henderson shot way off the mark. Zach, excuse me, Zach Hahn looks to run. You know, Danny needs to put up some shots. Yeah, Danny's only taken nine attempts this season so far. That's a little over one a game. Ryan Henderson crowds the long rebound. Very frantic pace here in this game. Both crowds are going to hear from the kind of section of the Clinton's, uh, Newcastle fans here. But this is a very spirited game, uh, you know, as we saw last year. When Newcastle came to Connorsville, uh, you, you know, that was a, pretty much a heartbreak. But Connorsville, you know, was down, you know, by a lot. But they played well, and they came back towards the end. However, it wasn't able to uh, bring in the victory. Yeah, uh, I think that's a very smart team here. I think looking for a very slow tempo. I think they want to keep this game in the 40s. If they keep the game in the 40s, they might have a shot of winning this. Yeah, we don't want a, uh, a high-scoring game. Tonight. That's not going to play in the Connors' favor at all. Because, you know, as we know, uh, the main part of our offense is Matt Howard. I mean, obviously, as he's averaging uh, 22 points in the season. You know, and as a team, we average 57, so that's almost, you know, almost half right there. So. Everyone knows how what we're going to do, and we need to keep that score as low as we possibly can. Yeah, if this game's in the 40s, Connorsville has a great chance. I think even the 50s they have a shot, but you don't want to see a score up in the 60s or 70s because I think, unfortunately, Newcastle would be up there and Connorsville wouldn't. Jordan Crow's second attempt is off the mark, and Mike Lake's going to check into the game for the next dead ball. Ball now in the hands of Brian Hazelman. He works back to Zach Hahn, the, the man for the Newcastle Trojans. The offense flows through him, and he... Makes it go. Brian Hazelman, he'll take a deep three-pointer just like warm-ups. He's pure. Newcastle will take a lead at 7-6 halfway through the first quarter. Matt Howard once again with the ball. Luke Bennett tries to come up and defend. He's going to get Wilson for a foul. This is uh, working into Connorsville's favor. It's only uh, Luke Bennett's uh, first, but we have also have a, a foul on Stigall already, so it would be great if we could get them into some early foul trouble. It caused a lot of problems for that uh, Newcastle bench. Danny Fish actually takes a seat on the bench. He talks about the, uh, we've raved enough about Newcastle scoring. Uh, but Zach Hahn averages 16.9 points a game. Jason Gold right behind him at 16.3. You know, Brian Hazelman averages uh, just under nine, so these boys can shoot the rock. Is that Jamie Taylor is going to step into the lineup now. Chris Malone will take a seat on the bench. It's actually uncharacteristic for Chris Malone to stay out four minutes. Usually he gets a, a quick sub after two, and then they do a lot of fast rotating in between him and Jamie Taylor. So uh, Chris Malone getting uh, some early minutes here. Ryan Henderson looks to set up the offense, gets to Jordan Crow. Open look, almost throws the way to Ryan Henderson. We'll go back into the middle to Matt Howard. Kick out to an open Jordan Crow for three. Off, off back iron. Battle under the boards. Ryan Henderson with an excellent job. Almost tips it in. 
And finally into the hands of Zach Hahn. Very good spirited rebounding by the uh, senior guard, Ryan Henderson. Zach Hahn will shoot a three. That's off the mark. Jamie Taylor with a rebound, and he'll wisely slow it up. Good job there by Jamie to get the, uh, the open ball. And uh, another great job uh, slowing it down, getting the ball to Mike Lake. Matt Howard looks as though he wanted to attempt a three-pointer. He's only shot one of the season. However, it was unsuccessful. Matt Howard mugged, now in the hands of Mike Lake. And this is interesting. I think this is uh, when Matt uh, Howard gets to uh, Butler and starts playing college ball. I think this is a more uh, a natural position for him that you'll see in college, working uh, more high post and in the wing. The foul is going to be on number 50, Bobby Carroll. Senior post man. Bobby Carroll is uh, one of the few uh, sizable uh, defenders Matt Howard's going to see this season. Uh, Bobby checks in at 6'7", 250 pounds. Yeah, but uh, Matt Howard at speed, I think, works well in his favor as uh, the more uh, lanky of the two, if you will. Matt Howard's going to spin inside. He'll kick it out to Danny Fish, Escher. Swings back to Ryan Henderson. Good look, but it's into the hands of Zach Hahn, and the Trojans look to run. He'll shoot up again. Off the mark, Zach Hahn, fortunately for Connersville, has not found a shooting touch tonight, but as we've seen, he's very dangerous, and it's only a matter of time, probably, before he starts uh, hitting those wide-open shots. Yeah, Zach Hahn is uh, to Newcastle, as Matt Howard is to Connersville. He will get his points every night, and I don't think uh, Coach Bennett is worried about that at all. Matt Howard's shot goes off the hands. Not shot, excuse me, but a pass off the hands of Denny Fishesher. Dave, to put a little uh, historical perspective on this game, in the last 11 uh, uh, battles between these uh, two squads, Connors has only won one of those, uh, so they would love to sneak out of here uh, with a win tonight. Especially with a win here at the Fieldhouse as uh, Brian Hesman connects on a, uh, excuse me, as Chase DeGaulle, connects on a two-pointer. Newcastle now has a three-point lead on the night. Yeah, that, that'd be great for especially, uh, you know, the, the quality teams that Newcastle's beat here so far. They've already defeated the... Uh, Class 4A, number 14, was Ryan Anderson with a good aggressive drive to the basket. They defeated Muncie Central, I believe, um, just a few weeks ago and it was uh, by about 11-point margin. It, it was, was a great victory for Newcastle. It was 58-47, and uh, Newcastle pretty much uh, held control all game. Uh, and Connorsville actually, after their win against Chittard last week, dropped in the 3A rankings to 10th, uh, falling from 9. Um, obviously, some of the voters feeling that they should have uh, had a, a better win against them. Uh, they gave up that 16-point lead late. Uh, but a win here tonight against the number one Trojan team would be uh, great for their ranking. Zach Hahn is going to come inside of the free throw line. He'll loft up a shot. That's off the mark, and Matt Howard's going to corral the rebound. Zach Hahn last year against the Spartan team uh, put up a good 30-plus points. So it was really lights out all night. I would so, lo I'd love to go back to that game and see how many shot that kid hit from the baseline. He was absolutely automatic all night long. Connorsville just didn't have an answer that night. Connors was doing the very wise thing, slowing the tempo down. Tempo down. It looks like they might try to hold for the last shot of the first quarter. And from what we've heard, uh, as we talked about last year, uh, the last time uh, that Connorsville did beat Newcastle is because they held the ball. They milked it. There was, you know, very few possessions in the game. The score was down in the 40s. And that's why Connorsville won. And that's what they're going to have to do here again tonight. Newcastle fans are going to like it. But at this point, you know, I don't really care. Connorsville needs this victory, and that's what Connorsville, you know, Connorsville's fans are here for. Uh, if Connorsville gets a three to five point lead, I would not be surprised to see uh, Coach Klein go to a four corner setup and just start trying to milk the clock as much as he can and then getting a, a good, decent shot uh, late in a possession. Connorsville successfully milking the clock from 108 down to 10 seconds now for the last shot of the first quarter. Matt Howard's going to look, he's going to drive out, kicks outside to Danny Fish as you, he'll come baseline. He's going to step on the end line, not the turnover that Kyle's going to want to do such a great job of getting it down to that time. The guys have got to be a little bit more, uh, you know, mentally prepared and know they're out on the floor at all times. Yeah, unfortunate turnover there for the Spartans. Two seconds left, Zach Hahn's going to shoot the three-pointer. Actually, no, it's going to be, excuse me, uh, Luke Bennett, however, shots off the mark. We're going to take a break here at the Newcastle Fieldhouse. The home Trojans are clinging to a 9-8 lead. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Back in the field house, once again, Trojans up by one, 9-8. It's going to be Connors with ball to start off. As to uh, in the first quarter of action, Luke Bennett's three-point attempt is off the mark. Coach Klein and his squad have done a good job of limiting the, the possessions for the Trojans tonight. Yeah, and they've done that by great ball control. 
Uh, as Connor's ball in the end of the first quarter uh, shed in the last minute of that quarter by uh, holding the ball, uh, Matt Howard holding the ball up at the 10-second uh, the line. Brandon Henderson back into the hands of Matt Howard. Coach Klein pleading for a squad to, to swing the ball. Matt Howard's going to take a tough baseline jumper. It rattles around off the mark. Rebounded into the hands of Chase DeGaulle. Zach Long pushing the ball once again. Drew Tower has checked in the lineup for Newcastle. Ryan Hazelman can't really get rid of the ball, and now Zach Hahn has it. Look at right side, great behind the back dribble. Look, Danny Fish has on the ground for a second. The ball's going to come back. Now back in the hands of Zach Hahn. Uh, and as we've seen tonight, and I think it's been the theme for Newcastle Rivers of the night, this offense runs through Zach Hahn. His shot will be off the mark. He's going to get his own rebound, and he's not going to challenge the big fella. Shot way off the mark. However, Chase DeGaulle is there for the uh, putback. Newcastle now up 11-8. And then it's uh, kind of a good thing to see from this part of the country. Matt Howard and uh, Zach Hahn both will be going to Butler next fall as they are both seniors. And uh, Chase DeGaulle is also an excellent shooter himself, but only a junior. He'll be headed to Butler himself. So Butler's, uh, you know, even with the quality squad that they have now, they're going to be even better here in the next few years. Yeah. Chris Malone with that thunderous rejection. Jordan Crow comes up with a loose ball. They've got numbers, but he's going to pull it out. Matt Howard's going to work it inside to Chris Malone, and that's going to be a turnover into the hands of Newcastle. He can't hold on to the ball. Yeah, Chris Malone looking for the foul there. Didn't get it, and now it's Newcastle ball. Three-point lead for the Trojans. Six minutes, 19 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Newcastle causing Connors a lot of problems on defense uh, with a, a very motion-oriented offense, a lot of movement, and it looks like they're trying to wear down the Spartans early. But as we said, the lower the score stays, as Chase DeGaul tries his hand, Matt Howard, great rebound. He'll push it up the court to Jordan Crow, almost throws it away, and they, they will have another turnover. Zach Hahn, the thing you talked about, Connors will cannot have all these turnovers because, however, we've got us the win against Bishop Chittard. We will not leave the Newcastle Fieldhouse tonight if we have 20-plus turnovers again. Newcastle is too good of a team. They will uh, convert points off those turnovers. Yeah! Matt Howard goes to deflect the ball, however, he... Fails to get back and box out Bobby Carroll. Newcastle out with their biggest lead of the night, up by five, 13-8, five and a half left to play. Connorsville still doing some good things, controlling the tempo of this game. Connorsville fans don't want to see their Spartans get behind uh, early as we did last year. Matt Howard will corral the ball in the backcourt. Excuse me, a timeout. Coach Klein's going to need to talk to his, his squad as he's not really uh, happy with the way the second quarter's Rest and we're going to take a full time out here at the field house. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more of tonight's action. Introducing the all new Enclave. It's a minivan to the max with features like remote control sliding rear doors, 150 cable channels, a full sky view roof, temperature controlled cup holders, and the six point navigation system. It's the minivan for families on the go. Back in the field house once again. The Trojans up to the biggest lead of the night, 13-8. Five minutes, 17 seconds left to play. Coach Klein not really happy with the way the second quarter's progressed so far. No, the first quarter went very well for the Spartans. They were only down one, but they controlled the ball very well. And the first three minutes of this second quarter have not been the greatest the Spartans have played all season. Matt Howard spins back inside. Good look to Chris Malone. Ball bounced around once again. Yet another turnover. Bobby Carroll with a steal and Zach Hahn. He's going to work left side. Not, not going to test the big fella. Ball in the corner, back up top to Zach Hahn. He's going to go left side, and they're going to whistle a foul on Jordan Crow. It's uh, surprising that Zach Hahn has been uh, so timid to go against Matt Howard, uh, even with Matt Howard's size. Last season had a, uh, a great game against him going at baseline, as you talked about, and just coming up underneath and going off glass. Uh, that's uh, the way he got most of those 30 points that he accumulated last game. Ryan Hazelman inbounds to Zach Hahn. We'll get cross court. Good look inside, out over the outstretched hand. Ball corralled by Bobby Carroll. Newcastle's going to set up the offense one more time. Connorsville's going to have to uh, 
limit uh, Trojans' uh, second chance opportunities here. Matt Howard really needs to control the boards. These Newcastle boys look intent on running these boys to death. As the runner from Brian Hazelman is good, they're now up 7 15 8. Connors is going to have to get back on the board quickly. Connors will yet to score here in this second quarter. Ryan Henderson, he'll step back and take a three pointer. Skies, it will not fall. And Chase DeGaulle will grab the rebound. Zach Hahn will work it across. Good look inside to Bobby Carroll. Matt Howard with a little deflection there, it looks like. Ball's going to be out of bounds off of Newcastle. It's going to be Connorsville basketball. Connorsville really needs to settle down on offense. They need to play the game that they came here to play. Even though you're down seven points, you don't need to start taking threes all the time. It would be uh, much better served uh, just to play their offense inside to Matt Howard and let him uh, start working inside. It's kind of uh, interesting to see how we've gotten away from uh, the early tone of this game with Matt Howard controlling the basketball. And now as we see Mike Lake taking charge. Uh, you know, and that seemed to work. Kind of went up big. I believe it was, uh, you know, 5-2. Lob pass to Matt Howard. He won't get it to fall. He's going to be fouled on the second attempt. Usually, the big foul will get those things to fall. The foul is going to be charged. It looks to Chase to go, and I believe that's his second. Actually, they uh, credited that to Drew Tower. Only his first. Connors will do a good job not picking up any fouls. Only one team foul. Newcastle, however, with five. Matt Howard's first attempt is good. It's going to be critical for the Spartans here tonight. Matt Howard needs to convert on his free throws. Step to the line for a second. It is off the mark. Rebound, chase to goal. And Connorsville there on that free throw. I know it's hard to get the offensive rebound, but nobody stayed back to rebound. Uh, at least no one with size. Obviously, Matt Howard's on the free throw line. It's hard for him to rebound. Zach Hall with a great drive. Ryan Henderson with a painful rejection. They're going to call a pushing foul on Mike Lake. Great blocks. It's nice to see some of the other Spartans really step up tonight and out of the block column. Connors will uh, charge with 32 blocks on the season. Matt Howard with all 32. However, tonight we've seen Chris Malone and Ryan Henderson both pick up one. It'll be interesting to see if they're actually credited with them once the, uh, the night's done. Zach Collin drives inside. Actually, dishes out and chased it all. You get it to fall, and it's 17-9 in favor of Newcastle. Once again, not what Connorsville wants. No, and uh, Connorsville is yet to score uh, from the floor in this second quarter. They really need to get some points. Jordan Crow is going to come right side to Mike Lake. He'll get inside of Matt Howard. He's double teamed. He'll spin baseline. Shot up and good. Tough basket by the big fellow. That's exactly what Connorsville needs to do. They need to work the ball inside to Matt Howard, let him establish himself, and then start working the ball out to Ryan Henderson uh, and Danny Fish to get some uh, wide open looks and start converting. What we don't need is uh, Ryan Henderson, Danny Fish, Escher, Jordan Crow uh, taking uh, off balance shots around the perimeter or a shot with a, a defender in their face. Uh, work the ball inside to Matt Howard. He'll get the job done down low. Danny Fish, Escher's checked in the lineup for the Spartans, and Matt Howard will step to the line for an old fashioned three point play attempt. That gets it to fall. Now Zach Hunt will set up the offense for Newcastle. Matt Howard with a monster rejection there. Ben, I'll not break out the 11th <laughs> commandment for you again. I got not you flustered yet. last time. Not yet. Ryan Henderson looks to work inside of the big fella. Dish out to Jamie Taylor. Mike Lake wide open up top. However, he's not going to attempt a three-pointer. A lot of open looks from the Connorsville shooters right now. However, nothing really uh, starting to fall. Yeah, uh, Connorsville content with just, uh, once again, shedding some time off this clock. They still feel like if this is a low-scoring scoring game, they have a chance to win it. Matt Howard with all but three points of Connorsville's offense tonight. Obviously leading the way with nine. Uh, Connorsville down 12-17 with a minute and 45 left to play. Matt Howard with a great up and under. 
and it's gonna fall. Great shot by the big fella. Coach Klein's happy. Coach Klein is ecstatic here, uh, leading the way on the cheer. Uh, Matt Howard, though, a great job up and under, and get, draws the foul, scores the basket, and now uh, Connersville can cut this lead to two. Matt Howard looking for his 13th point of the night. Excuse me, 12th. All part of the iron, good hands by Jamie Taylor. Howard being in the hands of Zach Hahn. Coach Klein, happy with the, the progress of his team right now. They've cut that deficit now down to three. The Spartans are looking good right now as we approach halftime. It's going to be a, a foul called off the ball. It looks like it'll be on Mike Lake. That's his second of the evening. Jordan Crow's going to come back into the lineup. Obviously, Mike Lake will take a seat on the bench with his second foul. Only the team's third, so they're in good shape right now. Connors Lava was in the bonus with Newcastle, and there's 17 fouls. Brian Hazelman gets to Zach Hahn, who's going to work inside. Bobby Carroll gets back to Zach Hahn. It's amazing to me how easily this Newcastle team is able to find Zach Hahn everywhere he's on the floor, they're always able to uh, know where he's at and find the ball and get it to him. Tough shot by Zach Hahn. Bit of a fadeaway jumper from outside the free throw line. And with less than a minute to go, I'm going to go ahead and surmise that Connors was going to hold on for the last shot. I think they will. I think that's a, a good idea. Holding uh, Newcastle to 20 points in one half would be great for the Spartan squad. With Bobby Carroll obviously not coming out and advancing on Matt Howard. Matt Howard doesn't have to move the ball right now. Coach Clock now down to 35. Coach Bennett taking this opportunity uh, with a lull in the game to uh, give the referee an earful. Now down to 25. Even if Connorsville does not convert on this basket, being down five, they're still in very good shape here. And it's still 19 to 14, obviously. It's a small victory. You'd like to have the lead. But, you know, obviously with the high-powered offense that Newcastle has, they're in great shape right now. Ten seconds. Now down to eight. Connors is going to have to work with it. Matt Howard's going to move inside. Tough shot off glass. Rolls right and it's good. Good shot by the big fella. Two seconds. Deep three-pointer. Way off the mark. Connors was going to go to the halftime with only a three-point deficit, and that's a good, good shape right now for the Spartans. We're going to take a break. Be back in just a few minutes to uh, wrap up the first half of tonight's action. Back in the Newcastle Fieldhouse as we get set to wrap up the first half of action. Once again, Newcastle leading 19-16. A uh, good mark for the um, uh, the Connorsville Spartans to only be down by three points right now. We'd have to consider that as a uh, small victory. A uh, quick wrap of the stats. Matt Howard obviously leading the way with 13 points, four rebounds, and a pair of blocks. Uh, Ryan Henderson with two points, two rebounds. Uh, Jordan Crow with one point. Uh, Ryan Henderson uh, with a block, also awesome. Chris Malone. Or an interesting uh, stat that Matt Howard was the only person to score in the second quarter for the Connorsville Spartans. That's uh, probably not a good sign for the Spartans, but fortunately Matt was able to pick up eight points and uh, kept Connorsville in this game single-handedly. Uh, obviously something we expected coming in, uh, uh, a lot of this game is going to depend on Matt Howard and how he, uh, how he played tonight. Uh, but he's been Mr. Consistent all season. Uh, very nice to see how he's been able to come out every night and uh, get his 20 points, uh, close to 10 rebounds, and five blocks. Uh, his, uh, it looks block like count. he's well on his way again. His block count now up to 34. He's doing a great job. We need to see a little bit more from uh, Ryan Henderson uh, and Danny Fish, Escher, Jordan Crow from the outside. But once again, they don't need to rush their shot. They don't need to take off-balance shots. They need to work the offense through Matt Howard, and that will open up looks for uh, the perimeter shooters. They need to find that fine balance, because I know what they're trying to do. They're, they're trying to hold possession of the ball. They're trying to work the clock down. Obviously, keep the score in the 40s, which we're in that pace right now. Uh, you know, if the game continues like it is, we're not even going to get to the 40s. But I think also, but if you've got that wide open shot, if you're Danny Fish, Escher, you're Mike Lake, you're Ryan Henderson, I don't think Coach Klein's going to be upset if you start knocking down the wide open three-pointers. However, I'm not in the locker room, and I don't know what Co Coach Klein is telling the Spartan boys right now. Well, if they are spotted up and wide open, they need to take the shot. 
if they're uh, fading out, and I think Ryan Henderson did that a couple times early in the game, uh, Coach Klein is not going to be happy. You need to spot up before you take the shot, and that's going to be vital for this uh, Connorsville Spartan team coming into the second half. The other thing they need to watch for is a, uh, a very fast pace coming out of the gate here in the second half uh, by this Newcastle team. I think they're going to want to uh, come out running, uh, see if they've uh, worked on the legs at all of Connors. We'll see if they can get around them. I believe it was uh, last year in the third quarter where Newcastle really took control of that game. Um, obviously, uh, they had a lead all throughout the first half, and when they came out in that third quarter, they just uh, completely dominated. And uh, Connorsville kind of had a half like they did uh, in the second quarter uh, of this uh, of this game. Uh, really not scoring a lot, only eight points, all, like we said, only from Matt Howard in the second quarter. Uh, but I think Connorsville will be... Uh, well served to uh, continue to keep the tempo uh, very low in the second half. We're going to take a break here at the Newcastle Fieldhouse. This is some of the Newcastle uh, gymnastics we're putting on a little halftime expedition, if you will. And so we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a few minutes to have the uh, rest of Channel 3's coverage of tonight's game. Once again, Newcastle 1916. Back in the field house as we get set to start the third quarter of tonight's action. But once again, uh, Newcastle up 19-16. The uh, pace of the game is really played in the hands of the Connorsville Spartans so yeah. far. Connorsville's done a great job controlling the tempo, uh, taking a lot of minutes off the uh, first half clock. Let's we'll see if they continue that uh, trend here in the second half. Zach Hahn once again setting up the offense inside of Bobby Carroll. He's, he's not going to go against the big fella, and that shot's going to be off the mark, and Matt Howard will corral the rebound. Jordan Curl once again slowing down the offense for the Connorsville Spartans. Jordan Crow uh, went down hard in that last possession. Good to see him up and uh, walking okay. Danny Fish actually comes across to Ryan Henderson. It's going to be a steal. Lane is good. Ryan Hazelman. Ryan Henderson will finally get the ball across the timeline. I was going to say, Connors will coming out with an uh, even different look. Matt, uh, Ryan Henderson bringing the ball up the court. Turned over by Connersville. Coach Klein looking for a foul there. Newcastle thought about attending a three. Luke Bennett wanted to pull up, however, wisely. Obviously, for Newcastle, gets the ball in the hands of Zach Hahn. That lead once again back up to five. As we talked about, uh, you know, amongst ourselves, Zach Hahn, three of ten from the floor with only six points. That's a stat that that needs to stay the same way. He's a great backdoor cut. Zach Hahn to Bobby Carroll. Bobby Carroll, excuse me. But to keep Zach Hahn that quiet, six points in the first half, that's a good stat line for Connorsville. Another great stat line for Connorsville. Newcastle did not attempt a free throw shot in that first half. Jordan Crow gets inside. But however, the ball comes back out. Matt Howard's going to drive baseline. He'll spin back in amongst the triple team. Chris Malone back in the hands of Chris Malone. Excuse me, Jordan Crow. Matt Howard spins inside. He's going to be fouled. He's going to step to the line for a pair of free throws. Connorsville, uh, after a shaky ha uh, start to this first half, uh, wisely slowing the ball down and uh, running the offense through Matt Howard. That's the third foul on Bobby Carroll. We can get the, uh, uh, the starting center for Newcastle out of the way. That's going to create a height advantage uh, for Connorsville. Matt Howard's first attempt is good. A very spirited Newcastle crowd behind us. Very spirited indeed, sir. Not liking the call. A foul against the Newcastle Trojan. Bobby Carroll and Matt Howard's good at both free throws. 23-18, Newcastle up. Six minutes left to play in the third quarter. Yeah, three-pointer on the way, and that's buried. Pure shot from Brian Hazelman. Just like the uh, warm-ups, I don't, I don't think the guy hits the rim. It's either, you know, perfectly in or somehow he's not even going to shoot. It's going to be a foul called. Luke Bennett. He's getting two quick fouls for Newcastle. The same thing as the first. I think Connors only picked up one team foul in the uh, first half. Great mark, starting off the same way. The Connors are being very, it's kind of weird. They're not very being aggressive. On offense, however, they're picking up fouls. Yeah, they're, they're doing a, a good job distributing the ball, and I think Newcastle is uh, being a very uh, aggressive off the ball, and they're getting a lot of fouls off the ball, as well as uh, Coach Bennett is getting warned 
uh, by the official, it seems. That was his first warning, yes, but as the official walked by, apparently uh, Steve Bennett didn't like what he was seeing out there on the floor by the foul call. But however, as we saw last week, sometimes the foul calls don't always go your way. Matt Howard's going to come inside. Jordan Crow's got a wide open look. However, he'll kick over to Ryan Henderson. Eventually, some of our perimeter shooters are going to have to put up wide open shots. Tough pass inside of Chris Malone. He's up against three guys, and he'll pick up another foul. Newcastle fans are really starting to heat up here. It's going to be Luke Bennett's second, or excuse me, third. So uh, a couple Trojans now in foul trouble. And it looks like there's a warning going out into one of the players being Luke Bennett. We're going to have a substitution of Drew Towers, 6'4". Senior forward's going to check into the lineup. The referees are now uh, being told that they're all from Connersville. Dangerous pass inside of Matt Howard. He's being triple teamed. He's going to keep holding on to the ball. The finally kick out to Jordan Crow over to Danny Fish Escher. Ball off the hands. Brian Hazelman. Ball will stay with Connersville. Danny Fish Escher inbounds to Ryan Henderson. Five minutes left to play in the third quarter. Newcastle up by eight. Ball well, off the mark. Ryan Henderson slaps him in the hands of Denny Fish Escher. Gets it back out to Ryan. He'll try his hand at a three-pointer, and it's way off the mark. Air ball. He's going to be a foul away from the ball. Looks like it's going to be charged to Chris Malone. Ryan Henderson, I don't think that was the, the best shot attempt he's taken all night. Uh, obviously, it, it's easy for Ryan to get frustrated uh, when the shots aren't falling, uh, but it, it, it's... No need in uh, forcing anything here so far with five minutes left in the third quarter. Coach Klein pleading for his defense to step up. Ryan Hazelman with the ball. Now in the hands of Zach Hahn. He's going to come left side. Good defense by Mike Lake. Mike Lake over the, over the seasons has been uh, very prone to pick up some early and cheap fouls. We've done it, doing an excellent job right now with Zach Hahn. He'll pull up for a long two-pointer, and it's good. If Connorsville wants to get back in this game, there's going to have to be some weak side help when uh, Connorsville is uh, screened off of Zach Hahn. I think uh, Coach Klein's going to take a 30-second timeout to address that issue, now with a 11-point uh, deficit. That was a uh, three-pointer. I thought, from my viewpoint, his toes are on the line. However, uh, you know, as we talked about in the pregame, we really thought that Connorsville would do a good job of hanging tough with Newcastle in the first half. This third quarter is really going to make or break, and it's going to be the, you know, the entire theme of the night. Newcastle's done an excellent job here in the first three minutes, 46 seconds, if you will. They've pushed up the lead from three now to 11. Well, and that's just uh, from a lack of Connorsville output as uh, Matt Howard has scored the last 10 points for Connorsville. Unfortunately, that accounts for all of the points in the third quarter, or in the second third quarter and, third and quarter. Second, qu second quarter. That's yeah, not a good mark for Connorsville. You know, Ryan Henderson, obviously, is a very emotional player who wants to get involved in the games. We saw in the first half of Bishop Chittard. Actually came out lights out. Uh, five for five from the three-point line, 15 points. However, he ended the game with 15 because that emotion, however, and you know, it's a gift and a curse. Uh, first half, it did, did very well. Came up with some very good defensive plays, good steals, good rebounds, and obviously the 15 points. However, the, that emotion uh, picked up that technical foul after he got charged in the third quarter with slapping the, uh, uh, the goalpost, if you will. And he had to sit out the rest of the game because we need his, uh, you know, his talent in this game tonight. Yeah, definitely uh, need his uh, court vision and his uh, smooth shooting. Ball finally inbound. Danny Fish Escher works cross court. Jamie Taylor takes the three. Mike Lake wants to go cross court. However, that's a very dangerous pass. And then he's a Danny Fish Escher. They'll get inside of Matt Howard, double team. Good look to Jamie Taylor. He'll come inside. Shot is blocked. Connors will, will retain possession. Interesting look from the uh, Spartans. Matt Howard shot off back iron, rebound in the hands of Zach Hahn. I'm just going to say, Connorsville started out with four guys down low. Now they've got four guys on the perimeter on offense. Newcastle's really starting to set the tempo in this game. They're going to say that Bobby Carroll lifted a knee out as Mike Late tried to get around the screen. I believe that's going to be his fourth foul.
We got a substitution as the backup center, Chris Robinson, six foot five junior. He'll come to the lineup. We'll take Bobby Carroll seeing on the bench. Look for Connorsville to exploit that height advantage now with Matt Howard. Three and a half left to play. Once again, Connorsville down by 11. Really need to get into this fourth quarter. Had this lead obviously down in single digits. We're going to have a lob pass to Matt Howard. You're going to call a foul. He wasn't able to get to the ball. And that's going to be charged to number 33, I believe, Chase DeGaul. They'll actually give that one to number 50, Chris Robinson. Who well, just checked it in the game. Looks like I believe the uh, referees had uh, motion that they were going to charge to Chase DeGaul, which would be great for Connorsville to get at least a couple of these shooters off, too. We're going to have a turnover and give it right back to Newcastle. Not what Connorsville needs to do. They have to take advantage of these opportunities. Yeah, Jamie Taylor, uh, it looks like it just went off his leg and out of bounds, unfortunately, for Connorsville. Now uh, Newcastle has the opportunity to uh, expand this lead even more. Three-pointer on the way from Zach Hall. Once again, Zach having a poor night shooting. Matt Howard will draw the rebound. He's going to pick up a foul. As he was smacked in the face, Newcastle doesn't have to like it. Number 42, Drew Tower, just punched him right in the face. And obviously, he's going to get that foul called every time, no matter whether the refs, you know. Obviously, they're a partisan ref. Steve Newcastle Bennett. doesn't have to like it, but that's just the way it's going to go. Steve Bennett still giving this official an earful on the, on the far, uh, to the left side of your screen. Matt Howard once again controlling the ball for Connorsville. Now, obviously, if Bobby Carroll's not going to step out, I wouldn't see why Chris Robinson is going to do anything different. Matt Howard being triple teamed under the basket. Danny Fishers will take a three-pointer. It's off the iron. Rebound, Zach Hahn. Uh, uh, still a good shot attempt there from Danny Fishers. I think that was his first of the evening. Just really think he needs to look for a shot more. Brian Hazelman with the ball, finally into the hands of Zach Hahn. <clears throat> He's going to work right side. Comes back to the left. Mike Lake playing good defense. They'll try a lob pass of their own. However, it can't fall. Matt Howard pushes up court to Ryan Henderson. Boys look to run. Ryan Henderson will pull up for the jumper, and it's good. Good shot for Ryan Henderson. Those, those mid-range jump shots are sometimes the toughest ones to make on the floor. Yeah, obviously in warm-ups you work on, on layups and three-pointers. A lot of times you don't get the mid-range. Very good shot for Ryan Henderson. Hopefully that will awaken the sleeping giant, if you will. Bit of a surprise substitution is Eric Winkler looks to be checking in the next dead ball. Eric uh, seeing limited action in the season. Zach Hahn playing a, a little bit of kind of his own medicine. Minute and a half left to play. Coming into a nine-point lead. We're, look, we're content to run some of this clock. And I don't think Connorsville can be content letting them do this. They're going to have to attack the ball eventually. Looks like Mike Lake will try to step out and do that now. We're going to call Mike Lake with a foul. In my eyes, that could have gone either way, almost to see Zach Hahn for charge. Okay, Mike Lake will pick up, I believe, his third foul. That is his third team, second of the half. Jordan Crow will take his spot, and Jamie Taylor will be replaced by Eric Winkler. Yeah, I think if uh, Mike Lake was able to keep his feet under him, uh, he could have got the charge as Zach Hahn, I believe, was uh, using his forearm to push off. Unfortunately, he, uh, uh, Mike was leaning back, and he uh, fell first, and I think they called him for a trip. You got a minute and ten left to go. Newcastle up by nine. Ryan Hazeman. Defended by the sophomore Eric Winkler. Then what do you know? Zach Hall with the ball looking to set up Newcastle's offense. Now down to 45 seconds. But as you, you mentioned a few seconds ago, uh, Connorsville is going to need to step out on them. However, this plays into, you know, obviously almost into Connorsville's hands because they're not putting points on the board. They're obviously, not, it's not giving Connorsville a chance uh, to, to cut into this lead. However, you know, the score is going to stay relatively low by doing this. Well, by doing this, they've uh, used two minutes of the third quarter up, and now Connorsville looks like they're going to uh, leave the third quarter only scoring four points. Ball now into the hands of Brian Hazelman. 
They work right side, Zach Hahn, four seconds left to play. Look for a long shot. Eric Wigler throws it away, Ryan Henderson. He won't get a shot up, but you know what? Newcastle didn't put points on the board either. We're going to take a break here at the Field House. We'll be back for the fourth quarter of tonight's action. Newcastle up by nine. Back in the Field House. Final quarter of the action, kind of a, it's now make or break time. Uh, obviously a better mark than when we were at last year. I believe kind of was down big. One, uh, that lead at one point got to 25, 25, 26 points. However, right now, Newcastle only with 29 points through three quarters, well under their average of uh, 66 points for a game. Turnover from Connors, and Coach Klein not happy, and Zach Hahn and the Newcastle Trojans come the other way. Yeah, uh, Ryan Henderson had a, a great uh, give and go. And uh, he went for the dunk and uh, instead of the layup and unfortunately missed it. Those are things that uh, kind of will, right now we need secure points. Good shot by Chris Robinson out, outside of the outstretched hand of Matt Howard. Obviously when you come out with a nine point deficit in the fourth quarter and you get first possession, uh, the last thing you want is for Newcastle to score first. Lead back up to 11, Matt Howard's gonna come inside. Tough shot, rolls around, it's not gonna fall. Rebound in the hands of Chase DeGaulle. And now I would expect a, a very methodical offense from the Tro Trojans here in the fourth quarter. Zach Hall works left side. Good defense by Jordan Crow. Matt Howard comes out on Chase DeGaulle. You almost got an 11th commandment there, however, you won't. Not yet, kind sir. I'll wait for the next. Ryan Henderson looks to go to Matt Howard. However, nothing open that time. Crowd behind us, calling for the headbutt call, if you will. I'm not sure where that's gonna come into play. Matt Howard, good look inside, off the mark. He's gonna pick up a foul. Two foul shots. It's pretty unfortunate what we've seen uh, this season. Uh, I, I believe Newcastle would feel the same way if Zach Hahn was being punished. That one, Zach Hahn plays a different sort of game. Zach Hahn stays outside the perimeter. When, when our per, premier player, if you will, excuse me, there's a lot of P's in that sense, and that's kind of hard to throw out. But Matt Howard, when he plays inside, he sees a lot of physical action, and they don't like, you know, when he picks up the fouls, they need to realize that he's being hacked underneath the basket, and that goes against the rules of basketball. Exactly, and now uh, with that, both Chris Robinson and Bobby Carroll have four uh, fouls apiece. So if we could foul both of those guys out, that would give Connersville a considerable advantage down low. Matt Howard's second shot is off the mark. Good hustle by Eric Winkler. Gets in the hands of Matt Howard. Tough runners, good. Good teamwork by the Connersville Spartans, and they're within eight points. 31-23, six and a half plus to play. This is about the time when Connersville started their big run last season. Let's see if they've got it in them again. Zach Hahn comes right side, three-pointer on the way, and he buries it. Big time shot by a big time player. Lead back up to 11, just like that. Danny Fish has your right side. Looks to take a three. Jordan Crow, the guys, they want to look inside of Matt Howard. He doesn't have it. Nothing going right now for the Congress of Spartan offense. Uh, left or right, it goes. However, no sense in rushing it right now. Ball thrown away from Ryan Henderson. Now Newcastle with the ball looks probably run a little bit more clock. Zach Hahn now working the offense for the Spart or excuse me, for the Trojans. He'll kick it out. Three-pointer on the way. Ryan Hesman knocks it down. That's a huge shot. Kyle's the Spartans are going to have to take a timeout. No problem what that is. That's going to be a full timeout. That means we're going to take a break, too. The fourth quarter, Newcastle at big, 37-23. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more tonight's action. Back in the field house, five minutes and 24 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter, and Connors will need to put some points on the board now. They're up big, the largest deficit of the night, 14 points. Newcastle, however, does have 17 fouls. Connors will only with two. Denny Fisher, should, he'll take a three-pointer. It's going to be a big shot, and it is. That's huge. That quiets the Newcastle crowd for a second. 
Then, as we talked about tonight, there's a great crowd here tonight. Connorsville, well, their fans, we've got a lot here tonight. It's good to see the Spartans travel well. Yeah, they've traveled very well this game. They've filled up, it looks like, almost three sections of uh, bleachers. Lead back down to 11. Zach Hahn's going to come left side. Zach Hahn is just a very uh, complete uh, shooting guard here at this level. I can shoot the ball well. It really controls the offense. Uh, great, great dribbling and can rebound the balls we've seen tonight. Tough lob pass. Knocked around Eric Wickler. Finally, Eric Wickler playing some good minutes tonight as we still see him in the game here in the fourth quarter. It's uh, something you see from Coach Klein a, a lot of times as the season, season progresses. And that's going to be the fifth foul on Bobby Carroll. Way for the ball. Going up against Matt Howard. Uh, but as I was saying, Dana, something we see a lot of times from Coach Klein, as the season progresses, his uh, uh, JV players uh, see a lot more minutes, and I think that's just uh, him looking ahead to next year. But in a game like uh, Newcastle versus Connors, it's very surprising to see Eric Winkler with a lot of minutes. I see, uh, he now uh, took the bench as Mike Lake uh, checked in for him. Matt Howard steps in line for a one and one First shot is good. Newcastle lead now down to 10. It's nice to see that they also we've talked to the, the Connorsville crowd that they behaved themselves tonight as we heard about the last time Connorsville came here. A few individuals were arrested, you know, tempers flared, got out of hand. Looked nice to see that everyone's been behaving themselves tonight. Zach Hahn's going to drive in. Come back out. He'll go back in. It gets the big fella. Tough shot off the mark. Matt Howard with the rebound. Very off-balance shot, uncharacteristic of Zach Hahn. Let's get a 10-point lead halfway through the fourth quarter. You know, probably try to work the ball into the Matt Howard once again. Ryan Henderson throws the ball. Uh, throws it away again. Looking to go to Matt Howard. You can't rush these things. You, you've got to let the, uh, the defense open up and feed it to Matt Howard. Very cleanly, if you will. Sorry. Good kick out into the hands of Brian Hazeman. Once again, what else do you say? Brian Hazeman is absolutely in fuego, if you will. On yep. fire. He, he, Connors is going to have to step up now. Last year, it was uh, Chase Segal who uh, kind of surprised us in the bowl. Tough and, shot from Mike Lake. And uh, this year, it, it's been Hazelman that's uh, been lights out here tonight. 13 point lead. Coach Klein pleading for his team to step up, play some defense. Good move inside from Zach Hahn. Matt Howard can't get the block shot. Bobby Carroll's done a good job now in his last two shot attempt. He's going aggressive to the basket, and he's got it over the outstretched stand of Matt Howard. This uh, 15 point lead, Connorsville really needs to, uh, to push. A good three point shot from Jordan Crow. Lead now down to 12, 42-30, two minutes, 43 seconds up to play. Uh, Newcastle obviously uh, very slow getting the ball up the court. If they want to milk as much clock as they can, Connorsville needs some big stops on defense. Zach Hunt comes back inside, ball tipped away, good job. That time of the Connorsville defense. Jordan Crow looks to run with the ball. Over the hands of Danny Fish, Escher. Now inside of Matt Howard, he'll spin baseline. Shot is up and good. Leading now down to 10. Good aggressive play by Connors the last two possessions on offense. There, Dana, a phrase we used a lot during the last Newcastle game, stranger things have happened. And they have, and we've got a timeout on the floor. It's going to be a 30-second timeout to the uh, new Trojans, I believe the uh, in-house uh, announcer called. Uh, but as we said, the uh, you know the time is now, uh, sort of almost like we got last year. Out, you know, good for Connors, and they were down by 25, 26 points. But at this point, it's now a 10-point lead, and with two two minutes left to play, you know, Connors is going to have to step up and make some big-time plays. Yeah, it's going to be defense here that's uh, going to be the key for Connorsville. If they want to get back in this game, we need three or four very good stops and some very good shots from the outside. Newcastle now with the basketball. Luke Bennett inbounds to Zach Hahn. 
Zach Collins is going to hit right to the basket. And actually, dish out. They're going to pick up a foul on Ryan Henderson. And unfortunately for Connersville, their foul situation is going to work against them as they're going to have to foul four more times before the bonus kicks in. First foul on Ryan Henderson, third of the half. That's now Mike Lake's fourth foul. And Eric Winkler will check back into the lineup. It'll Good minutes from Eric Winkler tonight. He'll uh, check in for Mike Lake, I'm sure, but uh, with him having no fouls, I'm sure he's in there uh, to uh, get the foul count up, if you will. Minute 55 left to play. Ryan Henderson advancing on Zach Hunt in the backcourt. He'll get past the defense. Comes inside. They're going to call a reach in on Jordan Crow. Bit of a questionable call. Looked to be another turnover. That would have been Matt Howard. And Connors and Spartans would have had numbers and looked to run and cut in and possibly even get into a single-digit deficit. And unfortunately, that uh, official uh, was out of position to call that. The official that was in position didn't see anything. Saw a uh, uh, just really, as uh, Ryan will pick up the foul, uh, just saw a, a, a clean steal. Unfortunately for Connorsville, they did call the foul. And now Connorsville's one away from bonus. Ryan Henderson picked up three quick fouls. Not really the player you wanted to get in foul trouble for Connorsville. One of the, uh, the purest shooter we've got on the team. Uh, interesting stab. We've had him all night long. Looked in the... Uh, up to the season, up until this point, uh, Ryan has, has attempted 19 two-point field goals, uh, made good on eight of those for a 42% uh, shooting clip. He's attempted, however, 43 pointers, more than double his two-point attempts. Obviously, the three-point marksman for Connorsville, and they're almost uh, a mirrored average, also 42%. Uh, Ryan's averaging 11 points in a game. He's had a quiet night tonight. But, um, you know, if we want to get big, big three-point baskets late in the game, you're probably going to have to look it in the hands of Ryan Henderson. Connorsville now definitely needs to start thinking of perimeter shooting. Danny Fischer just gets trapped, throws it away, and they're going to call. They're going to call. I believe that's an intentional foul. That'll be Mike Lake's fifth. That means uh, Mike Lake will be done for this game. However, uh, Newcastle will take it two free throws and then also get uh, possession of the ball again. Now there's uh, the official asking for uh, a towel. Zach Hahn hit the deck right there. He's probably good amount of condensation on the floor. Coach Klein still looking for an explanation as to why that was an intentional foul. Coach Klein's going to ask for a timeout. Full timeout. That means we're going to take a break here at the Fieldhouse. We'll be back in just a few minutes to wrap up tonight's game. Minute and a half left to play you. Once again, Newcastle up big time, 44-32. Back at the field house, fourth quarter, minute 31 seconds left to play. Once again, as we saw in that last uh, possession uh, for Newcastle, Mike Lake picks up the intentional foul. So that means Zach Hahn's going to step to the line for a pair of free throws. First one is good. We get another. Newcastle's going to get the ball back. Not really, uh, not really a good turn of events for Connorsville. They're going to pretty much as as they did last year. They're going to need, uh, you know, as you said, stranger things have happened. You hate to say miracle, but we're going to need some good things to happen with the Spartans and soon. Coach Klein looking for a uh, early Christmas gift uh, for his Spartans to come. Uh, well, we have to win. They're going to foul number 30, Bryant Hazelman. Now, if he's as pure as he is from uh, three-point range, this should uh, be another two points for Connors. Uh, excuse me, for Newcastle, and put the lead to 16. His first shot, a great shooting touch from these Newcastle Trojans. Zach Hahn, Brian Hazelman, Chase to all These guys are automatic, and they've really hurt Connorsville tonight with their shooting touch. However, the second is off the mark. 
Coach Klein looking for Danny Fishash from the Spartans to push the ball. In the hands of Eric Winkler, he'll come back. Jordan Crow being harassed. Look to get inside to Matt Howard. Almost threw it away. That's going to be a foul charge to Drew Tower. That's his third foul. With a minute and 16 seconds left to play, Matt Howard's going to step to the line and shoot a one and one. And his first shot is good. Uh, Matt can connect on this second. It would be good for their counter so they could set up the full court uh, pressure if they so choose. And with that shot, Matt Howard now has 23 points of Connors was 34 on the night. Not really what you wanted to see for Connors, but we needed uh, some other shooters or just offensive production from some other guys on the floor. And we really haven't got it tonight. Be a foul on the floor. Number 22, Luke Bennett's going to step to the line for two free throws. This kind of now has 10. It's the second foul on Denny Fishesher. With a 13-point uh, deficit, uh, Luke Bennett not doing the Trojans any favors on missing that uh, first of the double bonus. Uh, Connors was just going to have to uh, come out and shoot quick and foul quick if they want to get back in this game. Both shots are off the mark. Danny Fishesher looks to run. Ball now in the corner to Ryan Henderson. Throws it cross court to Jordan Crow. He'll try a three-pointer. That's going to be off the mark. However, he's going to be fouled. That's going to be three shots. Jordan Crow on the season. Shooting 50%, three of six from the charity stripe. He's going to be th three big free throws. If he can pull the lead within the, back to 10. Newcastle crowd not expecting uh, much of a finish in this game as we see some fans leaving early. First shot is off the mark. Second shot from Jordan Crow on the way. Rolls around and is good. You see some of the uh, great crowd here tonight at the Newcastle Fieldhouse is starting to slip away, if you will, unfortunately. Newcastle fans are pretty sure that their lead will hold up for the night as Jordan's third shot is off the mark. He went one for three on that. Now a little bit of a full court pressure from Connersville. Looking to pick up the turnover. How Zach Hahn breaks it, gets into the front court. And he now will be fouled by Denny. That's going to be his third foul. He'll step to the line for a pair of free throws. Just a, a very smart player in Zach Hahn, uh, doing the wise thing, and getting the ball across the timeline. Uh, had the opportunity to attack, but instead uh, pulled it back out to the timeline and was uh, picked up another foul on Danny. Free throw on the way from Zach Hahn is good. It's funny how, how you see these swings develop. Uh, at the last time Jordan Crow had the free throws. Um, if he'd have connected on those three, it would have been a 10-point game from Connorsville. Now, come around the other way, now Connorsville's down by 14. Denny Fishesher kicks to Derek Winkler. Inside to Matt Howard. He'll spin back in the inside. Good move from the big fella. Shots off the mark. He's going to be fouled from behind by Brian Hazeman. He'll step to the line for a pair of free throws. It's interesting, uh, Connersville, uh, before we had to uh, begin fouling, uh, did everything they wanted to on defense, I believe. They held, uh, they held the Trojans to uh, right around 40 points before this barrage of free throws uh, began. Uh, but unfortunately, besides Matt Howard, the offense wasn't there. Second shot is good. Timeout from Connersville. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. The 12-point game, half a minute left to play. This one's probably going to be in the hands of Newcastle unless we can see a miracle in Ben. Go back to what you talked about before the game with the uh, three keys to victory. What did we see and what didn't we see tonight from Connorsville? Well, we saw uh, Mr. Consistency, Matt Howard. He did everything that he needed to do to get a Spartan victory tonight. Uh, the thing that we did not see was perimeter shooting from Connorsville. There were a lot of opportunities uh, for Danny Fish, Escher, Jordan Crow, Ryan Henderson to take some open looks, and they uh, chose not to. Uh, and really that was playing into their defensive strategy of keeping the ball away from the Trojans. Uh, unfortunately, uh, 
the game got out of the 40s uh, for uh, the Trojans. It looks like they'll uh, easily hit 50 points, as I'm sure they'll go to the line a few more times tonight. And that's going to put Luke Bennett back on the line. I believe last time he stepped there, he missed both free throws. So I guess if, uh, if anybody on the, from Newcastle, you went on the line, this is the guy you know, in Connersville's favor. But uh, Connersville, in controlling the tempo in the first half, uh, did a very good job. Unfortunately, the, uh, the offense wasn't there when we needed it. And his first shot is good. 50-37 game in favor of Newcastle. Second shot from Bennett is up. Rolls around and is good. Gonna have to see some three-pointers fly here. Some good looks inside to Matt Howard. He will work inside off the mark. Pretty much five Newcastle defenders around him. Almost out of bounds on the baseline from Zach Hahn. Ten seconds left to play. This game's over. Newcastle's going to extend their winning streak now. They're undefeated on the season. That will keep their number one ranking in Class 3A. The final buzzer sounds. The Newcastle wins 51-37. We're going to take a break here at the Newcastle Fieldhouse, and we'll be back in just a few minutes to wrap up tonight's game. Back in the Newcastle Fieldhouse, once again, Newcastle wins big, 51-37. Quick recap of stats. Matt Howard leading the way with 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Jordan Crow with five points, Ryan Henderson four points, pair of rebounds on a block, and Danny Fishesh rounding out to scoring with three points and three rebounds. Eric Winkler also had three rebounds. Total of 37 points. Four players scored for Connorsville. Ben, that's not what we needed tonight to defeat the number one team in Class 3A. No, and you can attribute some of that to the fact that uh, Connorsville was playing a very slow tempo. Um, it, it limited their uh, shot opportunities uh, along with Newcastle, but they thought that's what they needed to do uh, to stay in this game. And it worked for the, uh, the first quarter. And then, unfortunately, uh, Matt Howard was the rest of the offense uh, pretty much the rest of the way. And uh, with uh, Ryan Henderson not uh, scoring his uh, normal uh, amount of points, uh, we finally saw Danny Fish Escher take some looks. He had some good attempts uh, for Countersville, but uh, the rest of the offense wasn't here tonight. Right, and, you know, as you said, Ryan Henderson averages 11 points on the season. Tonight he's got four. Uh, not really what we needed. We needed Ryan Henderson from last week. First half, Bishop Chittard, five for five from behind the uh, three-point line. And anyways, uh, Connorsville loses big tonight. Uh, once again, Newcastle's going to move on to 8-0 now. Uh, they'll keep in the moment ranking. And Connorsville's ranking of uh, 10 in Class 3A is probably going to drop. Uh, yeah, uh, if it was a, a closer game, I, I don't think they would have uh, uh, dropped, uh, per se. I mean, you're, you're playing the number one team in the state in 3A. You're not expect <coughs> excuse me, expecting to come out with the win. Uh, fortunately for Connorsville, they just uh, fell short here tonight. And the, the road doesn't get any easier now. Uh, Connors is going to have to face Evansville boss. He, I believe, is ranked number two in the state right now next weekend up in uh, Indianapolis. No, but I, I like the schedule for Connorsville in that it is uh, giving them some tough matchups that they didn't uh, necessarily see last season. And I think that will prepare them better as they hit sectional play. Um, obviously, Connors are looking forward to a, a rematch in regional if they can get that far I, against this Newcastle team. They would love to... Uh, to get to see them one more time this season because that means they've made it to regional. And I think you would see a, uh, um, a, a better uh, cohesive team, if you will. I don't think uh, any of our players would uh, not show up for a game. Not to say that they didn't play well. It's just the shots weren't falling for Connorsville. And uh, a, a lower uh, amount of shots taken is going to equal lower points for Connorsville. Uh, unfortunately, uh, fortunately for Connorsville, the Trojans uh, heated up in that uh, third quarter and really uh, put the game out of reach. As we said, unfortunately, uh, we really thought the first half would keep things close, but whoever was able to control that third quarter is going to take the game, and that's how it happened tonight. Newcastle got up big, and Newcastle, or excuse me, Connorsville couldn't really get back into the game. So once again, uh, Newcastle victorious, 51-37. Now with Connorsville uh, fans came to see tonight, it was a uh, greatly supported crowd, and you know those things that it's good to see from the Connorsville faithful. So for uh, uh, Ben and myself, Dane, we'd like to say thank you to uh, John Pauzy in the trailer, Lynn Ross, Stat Girl tonight. We've uh, traveled on the road to Newcastle to bring this game to you on behalf of Channel 3. We're going to say uh, goodnight, everyone, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.